Yo, what's going on guys? As you can see, Cheat Breaker is here. It is released today and I'm going to be doing this really quick tutorial for you guys. So what you want to do to get started on downloading Cheat Breaker, you're going to want to go to your web browser of choice. Go to CheatBreaker.com. Click on this button right here. It's going to ask you if you want to install this thing called CheatBreakerInstaller.exe. You're going to click on yes. You're going to go to your, my, or your downloads folder. You're going to double click on the Cheat Breaker thing. Um, you can't see this, but it, um, Windows is asking me if I want to allow this app to make changes to my device. You just want to click on yes. And then it's going to open up this um, in license agreement. You're going to click on I agree. Um, you can check these things if you want. And then you're going to click install. Um, I already have Cheat Breaker installed, so it didn't really work. Um, so it's going to do that. And then it's going to um, put the Cheat Breaker thing on your desktop. Um, you're going to get a screen that's, and then when you launch it, you're going to get a screen that's asking you to agree to the um, user license agreement or something like that. You're going to scroll all the way down on that screen. It's going to be a big white screen. Um, I can't show it because I already have Cheat Breaker installed here. Um, you're going to scroll all the way down and then click on the green agree button and then you're going to be able to open up the launcher. Now if you are having troubles, they're working on the fixes. Um, they know it's lagging. It's taking people a long time to download everything. But um, here it is. If you're not automatically signed into the launcher, you're just going to have to sign in through your uh, regular Minecraft account info. Um, you're going to go to settings if you want to and you can allocate more RAM here. Um, you got the servers and you're going to click on launch game. It's going to start downloading everything that is needed for Cheat Breaker. And then you're going to be able to actually launch Cheat Breaker and go it in um, real quick. This screen is going to be black for a second. All right, it's back. Um, to edit your mods, you're going to want to press right shift on your keyboard or press escape and then click on mods. And as you can see, the whole Cheat Breaker menu is going to pop up. They have said before that this whole Cheat Breaker menu right here is going to be redesigned. So, um, so there's going to be um, a new thing in the future. Um, down here you got bug reports. This is where you can put bug reports. I don't know if it works. Um, there are a few new features in Cheat Breaker. As you can see, if you press escape, um, you can change your drag to look, which is the uh, Cheat Breaker, you know, F5 perspective mod everyone knows. Um, but something really cool that I didn't ever think they would add, they have a voice chat, which I don't know what that's for. Maybe there's going to have, um, on my HQ, maybe they're going to have like voice chat, sort of like Mumble UACs. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe it's just so you can talk to your friends or in game like maybe if you're playing a mine hq uhc you can talk to your team members very easily so that's really cool um going here if you want to add mods to your screen you just click on mods and then yeah i'm not sure why it's doing this um yeah if you click on mods it should come up with this screen and then you can add your mods wherever you want um we'll go with coordinates real quick it's going to bring up this screen um and then you're going to click now as you can see you sort of have these things um this question mark right here is really helpful um, it gives you some things on uh, telling you how to, you know, fix the thing on a, like some of the shortcuts and movements for the editing of mouses and all that stuff. As you can see right now, I can't really move it any up higher to the left. But if we look at this, um, it seems like if you hold this and mouse button too, you can move it wherever you want. So holding left click and right click, you can move it anywhere you want on the screen. You don't have these snapping features or anything like that. And I think that's really cool. Or you can just click on it and then use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move it exactly where you want. So as you can see, we have coordinates. You can go here and then to quickly get rid of one, you can hover over it and then click X. Or you can click on settings. You can change the scale. And then once again, you can change the color. We've all seen this before. Um, real quick, if you want to go to your Cheat Breaker uh, you know, settings right here, you do have this right here. Um, enable FPS Boost, obviously want that on. Um, I'm going to experiment with this and you know change it up a little bit um, to see which gets the best FPS. You got the GUI blur. You can turn that on or off. Um, I don't know what that's for. I think it's actually because I have fast render off. If I turn that off, um, I'm not really sure what that does, if I'm being honest. But um, anyways, um, anyways, if you if this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like. Uh, I'm sorry, I've tried recording this like three times, but everything just kept messing up. Um, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I don't know if I said this vid this video, but I am going to be doing a complete 100% um, overview and in-depth tutorial on Cheat Breaker, how to do every single function, how to use it, and all that. So um, yeah, Cheat Breaker here, Cheat Breaker is here, guys. Um, my excuse coming tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.